Greetings and salutations and our distance. This is a Wolf Tech, and here we are with another delightful video. This time it is the uh, Adventuring Gear Deck for Pathfinder 2nd Edition. Now, Paizo truly loves to make lots and lots of gaming accessories for their TTRPGs. I still have a lot of stuff for Starfinder to show off. I have more, way more Pathfinder 2nd Edition stuff. In fact, I've actually considered uh, sticking a Pathfinder 2nd Edition video every day of the week and then add one extra video of the various rotation of things. One pile, two pile, three pile, four pile into the rotation. Now, in this deck, there is 110 cards. It's a really nice box. Uh, there's the Paizo number. This should be in 4K, but it's not focusing. But anyways, you got two decks in here. This is all the general adventuring gear. There's also cards for various packs. There is the OGL card right here. You even have soap. Remember, soap. Soap is essential. You have all kinds of stuff. You got... Well over 110 items. You got a snare kit. You have a signal whistle. Saddlebags. Sack. Rope. Repair kit. Religious text and many many more items. And I'm not joking. There are lots of items in this deck in these decks as well as religious symbol silver religious symbol wooden rations Pittons Pittons are basically spikes that you stick into uh, walls also uh, to uh, tie ropes to and climb up or you can stick them under doors or is to pin them shut uh, you can also, uh, for D&D 5th Edition, uh, the homebrew rule for pittons is uh, D4 damage if you use them as daggers. Oil. You probably can do the same thing with Pathfinder 2nd Edition, just count them as daggers. Musical instrument heavy, like pianos and stuff like that. Musical instrument handheld. Mug. Mirror. Merchant scale. Material component pouch, manacles. Oh, those are pretty mean looking manacles. Magnifying glass, lock, lantern hood, hooded, lantern bullseye, ladder, hourglass, holly and mistletoe. And now we have to stop and sit here for a moment and think about wait a minute. How many items, and are we going to turn this into a Legend of Zelda situation where you're going to have to ask the question is, how many healer's kits, hammers, and different other, a grappling hook? You got a grappling hook. You got a hammer and grappling hook. You need some bombs, arrows, a boomerang. You got a regular Legend of Zelda situation here. A formula book for your alchemist. Flint and steel for sharpening items. And much much more there's this these cards have the contents what's in the card as well as the price bulk and hands how many hands it takes what hands etc like here's alchemist lab you got two different versions of alchemist lab the 5 gp in the 55 gp Bulk is six, hands are two. You got alchemist tools as well. For a game that actually has a quality alchemist class, yes, uh, you definitely need those items. Please note that uh, alchemist is not a weak class. It is a class that requires downtime and some foreplanning. But also, it is a universal, highly adaptable class that can be rearranged, uh, can be adapted to meet all kinds of situations. 
a bomber can heal, a bomber can poison, a bomber can use a mutagen. It's just that's not the thing that they specialize in, and that's the not the thing not the things they get the most of. So there you go. These cards are exceedingly useful for any new group of players, spellbook. And every card has artwork on it. So it's highly useful for players to keep track of what they got. And it gives you all the basic information that the players need for those items. This deck, if I remember correctly, uh, is $22.99. Now people can ask the question, of like, that feels like that's expensive. It's 110 cards. And Paizo gives away the rules for free online. So this is how Paizo makes their money, is these decks. If you truly want to support Paizo or Paizo as much as possible with uh, their product line, uh, you buy these card decks, you buy their pawn sets, you buy their flip mats. Uh, if I remember correctly, they're... Uh, Sometime this this uh, summer, they're going to discontinue the pawn sets. I have to go buy those. The reason why I didn't buy those uh, is because I typically run a lot of my games online. And I play most of my games in person. Uh, so, whenever I'm game mastering, I don't really use pawns. I don't really use... I use tokens at anything or little pieces that I set on the map. And they're usually just symbols or objects that represent other creatures so I typically don't use pawns or miniatures I use just tokens so but anyways this is really good really useful uh, to say there would be a four star would be this would be a weird situation where the quality and the functionality of the item should make it a four star yet the price is being two net twenty two dollars uh, MSRP or actually $23 MSRP which is feels fairly high and uh, yeah it's it's one of those difficult situations it feels like it's what you the quality of the thing and the what it basically says is adventuring gear all the little tools you need to use who's when your characters are out adventuring Feels like, yeah, this definitely is Adventuring Gear. This is a very useful deck for new players and new game masters. It should be like a low four star, but it almost feels like Adventuring Gear, like Compass, a, a deck with Compass and Soap as an item and Rope as an item. And mm, it should be lower than a four. But this is a weird situation. If, if you really have a new group and you have money to toss around, I would definitely buy this deck. If you're a player that ha is in a new group and you um, new to Pathfinder 2nd Edition and you like to invest in a lot of stuff and support a company, I would definitely go and buy this. Absolutely. It would be very useful. It contains all kinds of information about the items that are in it. So... It will, in fact, help you out a great deal. So it should be like a four-star range right there. I never give anything five stars because it's not per. There's no such thing as perfect, unless it's something just utterly amazing. Seeing like you cannot imagine improving it in any fashion, and it's an extremely good price, and the quality is super high up. It might be like a 4.75 star, maybe almost 5. <clears throat> but anyways, this is a right around that 4 star range. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you uh, have a delightful day. And oh, by the way, this is printed in the United States. It's American made. So there you go. Buy American. Have a delightful day on last night, a wonderful weekend, a magnificent month, and see you next time. Ciao.